Queensland's dairy industry is struggling. The Dairy Farmers Organisation says the discount milk price war is driving many producers to the wall. Supermarkets have defended the price cuts, but some farmers are looking for new ways to remain viable. One Queensland producer is risking everything to save his business. Maria Hatsakis explains. To Greg Dennis, this dairy farm south of Bow Desert in southern Queensland is his family's legacy. His grandfather and great uncle founded it in 1936. He wants to hang on to it and he's putting everything on the line to keep it viable. Oh, it's make or break. It doesn't work. The farm's finished. Late last year, he decided he couldn't accept a new contract with his dairy processor because the price the company was offering was lower than his production costs. He tried taking his milk elsewhere but couldn't find a suitable price. Unfortunately, there's, there's no point of negotiation. It's whatever they offer and you take it or leave it. We were in a position where we take a 25% pay cut to stay where we are or get out of the industry altogether. Instead, he's come up with another plan. His extended family will build their own processing plant on the farm and bypass the major processors. The million dollar venture will allow him to process and bottle his milk on the property. A lot of farmers would look at that as too big a risk. For us, I could see a very big risk in staying locked into the existing contract we were offered. We were literally going to be paid below the cost of production. The Queensland Dairy Farmers Organisation says the milk price war between major grocery retailers is to blame. Two years ago, Coles dropped the price of its discount milk to $1 a litre. Woolworths and other retailers quickly followed. The impact since that time has been quite severe and that has flowed on uh, at farm level to farmers simply saying, well, we can't do this anymore and leaving the industry. No more dollar milk! No more Producers have campaigned against the price drop, but the Dairy Farmers Organisation says their hands are tied. The farmers are the ultimate weak bargainer in this situation. They've got a perishable product that must be moved. They can't hang on to it, even like a grain farmer that could hang on to their, their grain in a silo for some period of time and just to, to some extent try and use the market. The farmer knows it's got to go. He says like Greg Dennis, farmers are trying new ways to stay in business. Well, we have seen people do home brand cheeses and we've even seen some go into not only cheeses but chocolates and, and uh, branch out into working on tourism or, or other uh, avenues. Late last year, a Queensland government report found that more than 50 dairy farmers had abandoned their businesses in Queensland in the past two years. Another 40 producers will lose their businesses or walk away from the industry in the next 12 months. Recent flooding will see that number surge further. And half of Queensland dairy farmers were unsure whether they would still be in the industry in the next five years if milk prices and farm financial returns did not improve. A lot of farmers will be looking at, this, at it and saying, what's the purpose in me recovering from, from this flood now? Uh, just as I did, I recovered from the drought and the previous flood. What, what's, the, what's the point? Coles has defended the discounting. In a statement, Coles says it's fully funding the lower retail price of milk from its own profit margin. It hasn't altered payments to Queensland milk processors in the past two years, and dairy farm numbers in Queensland have been declining steadily since 2000, when the industry was deregulated. Coles also says the Dairy Farmers Organisation has produced no evidence to support its claim that Coles milk pricing is the reason farmers have left the industry since 2011. Woolworths says it's been a price follower on the issue. It's committed to supporting the dairy industry to help keep it sustainable, but says the challenge is that it deals with processes, not farmers. But the government is worried. Both the Premier and I have talked to the supermarket chains, we've talked to processors, obviously we've spoken to a lot of farmers. And we are certainly keen for the milk price war to come to an end, for common sense to prevail and an understanding that farmers need a fair share of the profit in the whole supply chain to keep their businesses going. 
Greg Dennis isn't the first producer to set up his own processing plant. About six others have tried it too. It's essential, I think. It's great to see producers taking that sort of leadership position, diversifying, recognising that supermarket trade doesn't need to be the only outlet for them. I think the key is finding a niche somewhere to in the market and a market that uh, will be dedicated to your product and willing to pay a little more to, uh, to get the product that they want. Greg Dennis believes it's important for Queensland dairy farmers to put up the fight. For us, it's as much about trying to remain profitable and viable as it is to change the dysfunctional system that the dairy industry has become. Maria Hatsakis reporting.